Hi there. In this short video demonstration, we're going to take you through how to use Map Intelligence to link MicroStrategy and Esri's ArcGIS Map Server. In the screen we've got up at the moment, you can see we've got a MicroStrategy report based on fast food data over Sydney. We've got a MicroStrategy selector right on the right hand side that's a little obscured. We've got a couple of MicroStrategy charts and then we've got the map taking up the main space. In the map itself, you can see that we've got um, two layers, a point layer of outlets, and we've got the colour coding here. We can easily turn those point layers on and off. We've got a second point layer that's not visible because the zoom level is set so it only comes visible as we go in further, and we'll see that. And then we've got average salary by LGA. Again, readily turned on and off. Now the map itself is linked to MicroStrategy, so if we do a, a selector in MicroStrategy and say we just want burgers. That's filtered the MicroStrategy charts as you can see and it is now just updating the map, sending that data across to Arcus server so we can generate the points and the polygons based on that. And you can see we've now come back with those orange, oops, orange colored points um, which represent the burgers. If I change that over to pizza, it will Refilter the MicroStrategy charts, which you can see they've updated, and we're now update passing that data through and updating the map, and we'll have points, the purple points, based on pizza. So not only can we use MicroStrategy to filter the map, but we can always also use the map to filter MicroStrategy, and there's various ways to do that. So we have a map filter selector here. If we go to this last one which is based on travel time or distance, and we go and click on a road in the map, it'll go out to a drive time service, um, pick up a polygon there, 10 minute drive time we've done, and pass that filter back to MicroStrategy, which hopefully you saw the charts update. If you missed that, we'll do another one, and this time we'll do a radius selection, and if we grab this area here, if you keep your eye on the bottom right, chart you'll see it change as I let that go and we could perhaps do another freehand polygon. So there's various ways to be able to filter and add to your data from the map. So again we've pushed that filter across to MicroStrategy. So what we might do now is uh, remove those map filters and get back to our full set of data. So we've got the MicroStrategy charts updated. And I'll show you a couple of other features in the map using search and so forth. So we can see the main cluster of points around the Sydney area here, um, Eastern Sydney. So if I go into the search button up here and say search for East Sydney, we'll get some results come back. There's Sydney and this one's Edgecliff, which if you know Sydney geography is in the eastern suburbs there. So if we um, we pushed into that, sorry, just moved there. Um, we've zoomed right into the Edgecliff or East Sydney area. If I just step out a couple of times, zoom levels, we can see all the points in inner Sydney. Just one further. Um, what we might do now is use this search function to search for an attribute of the BI data displayed on the map, and we'll search for pizza. So that's brought back the results, and you can see as I hover over these, it highlights the po relative point in the map with that pulsating circle. If I go down on these ones, I can actually zoom in and jump quickly from one to the next. It's a very powerful feature uh, that you don't get in a BI tool itself. So I'll just step back through those on our back button on the map so we come back out and close that off. What I'm, it's a bit hard to see some of those those points on this background layer, so what I might do is just change that over to an Esri dark grey map layer so those points stand out much more. You can also see now the second point layer of the gyms that's come on, so if I click on that guy, we'll get some detail about it. So what we might look at doing is opening a business in this area and we want to get an idea of how many of those outlets that we could cover, say, in a 10-minute drive time. 
So we'll go to the routing plugin and just turn that on. We're on the outlets. What we might use to select our route is actual drive time. So we've got a 10 minute car drive time. If we go and click on this road here, we've gone out to the travel time service. It's pulled back that polygon, which is now being you will be used to do the, the best route. So if I click the start point and put the start point in much the same location, we can leave the end point and the start becomes the, both the start and end by default. And if I click apply, we'll go off to a routing service and pull back the route generated from um, using those points. If I hover over these again, you can see the circle relating to the points. Now we could use this button to export the results out as a CSV file, but we can also go to the print map facility and um, either do it as a PNG, a GIF or a PDF. And in this case, we might do it as a PDF. We just save that and print the map. So we're now, so I am using two map servers that are remote from me on Amazon and it's pushed back the PDF document to us with the route in it, which we could save and then go on and do other work. So that just gives you a taste for what's available by the using map intelligence to link MicroStrategy with ArcGIS from Esri. Thanks for your interest.